everybody, my name is Tim van Helsdingen and welcome to Sassy Snacks Part 2, Majestic Mojito. So in the second volume of Sassy Snacks, we are recreating the sequence that I created for the Houdini 19 launch, where I created a short sequence demoing the Vellum Fluid Solver. So if you didn't know already, Vellum now has a way to solve fluids, which is actually a lot cooler than it sounds. So now you can actually combine all of the stuff that you already know and love from Vellum, like cloth and soft bodies and all of that kind of stuff and grains and all kinds of things, you can now combine them with fluids, which is really cool. So that, that, that allows you to create effects like the swirl or like droplets falling on leaves and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So we're recreating that entire shot from scratch, starting with the storyboard, then creating our animatic based on the storyboard, then splitting up our entire scene into individual shots, doing all of the anima animation, doing all of the effects. Then we're gonna bring everything into Solaris. Yeah, this time around we're gonna use Solaris. And we're gonna be rendering it in Karma. So yeah, we actually do listen to your feedback because that was one of the feedback that I got for the previous previous sassy snacks and that some people didn't like that you had to use an external render engine well don't worry this time around we're going to be doing everything in karma so because we're using karma that also means that we're going to be using solaris so solaris is this new way of working in houdini uh, in order to do scene assembly lighting and shading all using the usd workflow so if you've never worked in solaris before then you are like me before i actually created the sequence because this was the first time they actually used karma and solaris in an actual production uh, well, then you can actually learn how it all works using this course. So it's actually my longest course that I've ever created. It's over 21 hours. So if you, if you hear that and you're like, oh my God, I don't have time for that. Don't worry. Uh, we split it up in, in, in separate videos, of course, because one video of 20 hours, 21 hours would be a little bit extreme. So you can also just watch individual chapters uh, based on what it is that you're interested in. So if you just want to know individual parts, like how to make a droplet fall on a leaf or how to combine soft bodies with vellum fluids, you can just watch those individual chapters but of course if you want to learn the most then watch the entire thing this course is a great primer for anybody uh wanting to start to use houdini uh in production so for example maybe you're a student and you're learning houdini and you're not sure how to make an entire project from scratch inside of houdini this is a great primer if you're already battle tested 3d artist and you normally use other 3d software then this is also a good primer because this will basically cover everything you need to know on how to Take your existing workflows and then implement them inside of Houdini. So I don't want to waste any more of your time. This course is already long enough as it is. So let's just dive into the next video where we're going to be building the animatic.